Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This is my top 10 stocks as we head into Monday, October 31st. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple clarification points. Number one, the price you see over here will be moving around and the candlestick you see will also be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame for all these, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, AMZN, Amazon had earnings and had uh, just not so good earnings uh, with the big gap down. But to give some credit or credit to, the price has since begun to bounce. But what I find interesting, and I think what a lot of other people will be watching, is in regards to that tread line right there, which has done a very, very impressive job of forecasting where all these rejection points would be. And you can see right now with this big bounce, the price does apparently seemingly be on a collision course with that tread line. But that brings up the big question headed into Monday, is the price gonna be able to break through it? And that's what a watch list is all about. Finding unique, finding interesting situations, not randomly rushing out and buying, buying things, but watching and seeing how the price behaves and see if it does ultimately behave in a way that fits your personal risk tolerance and fits your personal trading strategy. So, you know, however you wanna try to play that, I mean, maybe even some people are saying, well, I wanna go short right there because I think it'll get rejected. I can see that too. You can also have people saying, I wanna play the breakout. So that's where it's all about risk management because somebody's gonna be wrong, somebody's gonna be right. But the underlying uh, you know, dynamic here in the common denominator is that that tread line here is, presents a very, very interesting situation here headed into Monday. So let's see what happens with it. Can Amazon get the break? We'll have to see what happens. Next one here, AAPL Apple and a monster day here after earnings, which kind of goofy because they didn't, they missed and all that sort of stuff where Amazon got crushed and Apple gapped up and just kept on ripping and roaring, which has now created a very interesting situation. And let me be very clear, I'm not trying to impress you. I'm not trying to imply that what I'm about to draw here is some sort of great discovery or special talent. I assure you a lot of people have done this and are doing this. And I say all that because, you know, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. When a lot of people are watching the same patterns, watching the same dynamics, it can create some very worthwhile upwards pressure and you know, just price movements in general. So the level here, let me change that to green to represent support. But like I said, a lot of people in my mind have drawn this pattern because it stands out quite a bit, but I'll just make it one color and make it easier to see. We have our resistance, we have our support, we have the big momentum move like that. Let's put our golf hole down there to make it a little bit more visible or a visual. And we have ourselves a bull pennant pattern. So while nothing is guaranteed, is it plausible? Is it valid to think that if the price comes up to the top part of that pattern and gets the pattern break out that that break in and of itself, even if it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy, could create additional buying pressure? That is certainly not a guaranteed outcome, but a plausible outcome. So if you like to play bull pennants on very, very popular stocks, keep an eye on Apple. Next one here, QNGY, and same general idea of what I just talked about with Apple, which is why I put it at this point in the watch list for strategic reasons, so I don't wanna take a bunch of time and just repeat myself. I wanna to try to honor your time as best as possible. So let me first just get this pattern here drawn into play. So like I said, I assure you a lot of people have drawn this pattern, so this is not a special discovery. I'm not trying to impress you. Like this is some sort of special talent. So you get the idea when a lot of people are watching those patterns, they can produce self-fulfilling prophecy. So we have our resistance, we have our support. We have the momentum move right there, and now we have the golf hole down here. So another bull pennant pattern. The biggest difference here is just simply being the price point. Apple, certainly more expensive, but here is one down below the $5 range. So if this is more so your price range and you like bull pennants, then here you go. Keep an eye on this one. Next one here, NIO and like AM or AMZN, Amazon. We have an interesting dynamic here because with the tread line is starting to be approached. Uh, let me move that. There we go. That's a little bit better. And, you know, is that as, you know, clear forward as Amazon's tread line? Probably not. But same general idea. Yeah, it was rough, but the price is now starting to bounce. So that brings about the question of is, okay, can this bounce continue? And is this bounce going to lead to a tread line? And if it gets to that tread line, are you going to get a tread line break? Are you going to get a tread line rejection? All of those are very valid and wise questions to be asking. And all those are questions that you can build trade plans around. But like I said, whether you want to look at this from a bearish point of view or a bullish point of view, the fact of the matter remains that that tread line is going to be an important level. So keep an eye on that from a resistance standpoint. As far as levels of support are concerned, main dynamic here to watch right there at $9.35. So if this price does come back down, that'll be an important area because if it breaks down through there, and all of a sudden you're starting to get the price right back to where it was before the big bounce. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of genuine strength. But in my mind, these are definitely gonna be the two main key levels to watch on the chart for Monday. 
Next one, AMC, and we're at a very, very important spot, at least from a technical point of view, because as of now, this trend line here has been broken, but as I've mapped out in previous videos, even if that trend line was broken, you did still have that pink line there, the very well-known, very famous 200 period moving average. And I mean, wouldn't you know, look at that. What bailed out the trend line break, price came down there and found some support right at that 200 period moving average and got a very nice bounce back upwards. So it is still hanging around that trend line, but I guess really with the moral of the story here is the absolute level you don't wanna see fail is gonna be $6.36 as that is the value of that 200 period moving average. And if that were to happen, then at that point, for sure guaranteed, there's no question about it, this trend line would officially be violated. Cause I can understand right now people arguing, well, it's still hanging around the general area of the trend line and that's fine, I would agree with that. But at some point you have to admit, okay, the trend line is officially broken. So, you know, in my opinion, at what point does it become valid to say, all right, the trend line is officially broken and that's where that 200 period move moving average comes into play. As far as areas of resistance, key level to watch is gonna be that purple line up there, which you can see rejected the price twice today and currently valued at 667. So yeah, that trend line's trying to hang in there. It's trying to be strong, but let's see if the 200 period moving average can hold next week. Real quickly, I wanted to pause and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering next week. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you wanna learn more about the tool that I've been uh, using here and how it's very, very solid in helping to build consistency as a trader, then definitely get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying and you wanna learn more, then certainly get signed up for the free training. Next one here, AGLE. Stock that's knocking on the door of maybe going up over a dollar, but right now it's safe to call it a penny stock. But overall, good solid move today, great volume, and a nice little pattern here that's taking shape. So I want to get this pattern drawn out. And once again, uh, you know, got to think that a lot of people are going to be watching that dollar mark. It is a level of resistance from the technical chart, and it's just a psychological level anyways because it's that big old round number of a dollar. So you have that part of the pattern right there, and then you have the support part of it. And you probably know where I'm headed with all this, so I'm not gonna spend too much further time because you know all the talking points of self-filling prophecy and how that stuff works out. So we have a resistance, we have our support, we have the momentum move there. And yeah, you guessed that the golf hold on there ourselves another bull pennant pattern. So we have a good variety. We have Apple in a bull pennant, really expensive stock. We have, um, I forget the other one now. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Q, uh, QNGY, there we go. That was right around $5 in a bull pennant. And now we have a penny stock here in a bull pennant. Next one, AMD and what, I realize it's hard to see, but I want to illustrate where the big, you know, level that's going to be watched quite a bit on Monday is coming from. And that's this trend line, which starts from way back here in early October. And then you can see it provided a problem area right there. And now when I zoom back in, you'll know where that red line is coming from. But that is going to be the level that you got to think a lot of people are watching. So it does have that component of, will this create some sort of self-filling prophecy where people are going to see that it's breaking out and saying, oh, I'm a breakout trader. Oh, it's breaking out. I should be buying. So we'll see what happens with it. But no doubt about it, right up there around that $63 mark is going to be a very important level. And then for more of a broader sense, continue to watch that trend line down there as a support. But that's not really relevant right now, given the price is way up there. And then just to really illustrate the, the bigger pattern here that's taking place here is you do have this wedge that's starting to form. So maybe just maybe Monday is going to be the day the wedge gets a break to the upside. We'll have to see what happens. But got to think that a lot of eyeballs are watching that area. Next one, TSLA Tesla, and got the trend line break here after a pretty brutal start. Opening 30 minutes, you can see right there, really came down quite a bit. Next 30 minutes dropped all the way down there, and then just like that, somebody tapped the brakes, and straight up the price went, and not only did the price go up, uh, you know, back to where it was, it even got the trend line break. So, I mean, just an absolutely crazy day when you actually think about how bad it started, and think, because, you know, when the chart looked like this, think about how, how irrelevant that trend line seemed at that point in time when the price had dropped all the way down there but price came all the way down there and got the breakout, which always brings up an exciting question. Is that break the start of something bigger? And again, going back to the idea of a watch list, that's what it's all about. Finding unique, finding inter situ interesting situations and then watching them. So, because to be fair, maybe it's not the start of something bigger. Maybe this is just the fake breakout and the price goes downwards, but that is a two-sided coin because well, maybe it is the start of something bigger and this breakout just gets that much more upside momentum and pressure. So definitely keep an eye on that dynamic as the trend line break, like I said, has taken a uh, place here and I'll get that as it served its purpose. Next key area of resistance to watch closely here, moving into next week, gonna be right up there at 231. So keep a close eye on that. But yeah, very, very crazy day and turned out nicely for the bulls. Next one, M-U-L-N, and this will mean a bit more to those of you that have watched the past videos, but if you have, you know that I've talked about this 47 cent mark quite a few times as far as that level of support. And right here, the power of charts, so quick plug, definitely get signed up for that free training. But it's, did the price hit it exactly? It did not. 
but it definitely, definitely, I think we can all agree, got very close to that general area of that level of support. And then you can see not only did that level of support hold, but it's now produced a nice little bounce right here, which leads to the next question of, and let me get this level, whoops, extended out here, of 55 cents and can the price First off, get up to that level, and if it does, can the price get the breakup through it? So a couple of exciting questions that are now, uh, it makes sense to ask given the nice bounce here. Case in point, if the price just tr you know crashed down through that area of support, it would make no sense to be saying, hey, is the price gonna get up to that level of resistance and break it? Because you would be valid to say, what are you talking about? The price is dropping right now. But no, because of that bounce, these two questions here now become rational to ask. So let's see what happens with it. But yeah, good to see that that level of 47 cents did hold as support. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that allows you to make money if you believe that the NASDAQ market is going to go up in value. So it just allows you to get access at a much lower uh, price point and a very popular ETF out there. In fact, the one that usually gets the most volume every single day in the market. And rightfully so today, very, very impressive move. And the interesting dynamic here, and this will mean, again, more to those of you that watched yesterday's video, but you remember me talking about that pink line there, the 200 period moving average. And I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. So again, get signed up for that training charts. They're a very, very useful tool, but check this out. Where did the price found some support? Literally right at that pink line, the 200 period moving average, which I talked about in yesterday's video. And not only did it find support, a huge, huge bounce. So to anybody that watched yesterday's video and was you know picking up some shares down around that area of support, congratulations. Uh, I'm sure you're smiling going into the weekend here. So like Tesla, not only was there a big bounce, it bounced all the way up that area of resistance, and then it broke through that and just kept on grinding and grinding. So it really just shows how strong of a day the NASDAQ had. And uh, let me change that to support, which is just based on a foundational rule that when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, they tend to act as support. So $20.90, newest area of support. And then in terms of the next key level of resistance, definitely a big battleground up here right around $22.50. So it'll be interesting to see if the price can get up there next week and keep an eye on it. But all in all, anyway, look at it. Beautiful bounce off that 200 period moving average. So let's see if this momentum carries into Monday. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get it signed up for the free class next week. It'll be Thursday, November 3rd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So get signed up and hopefully I'll see you there. If you enjoy these top 10 videos, do two things for me real quick, please. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you traded today. Tell me what you're watching next week. But those two things communicate to me that you're enjoying these. And as long as I know people are enjoying, I will continue to put in the time and effort required to get these videos out to you. So get signed up for that class. Hit that like button, leave a com comment below. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a great weekend.